Minasan konnichiwa, this is David. I am doing a quick review here, just a short thing. Um, this is on the Afro Gunso Gunpla. Um, <laughs> again, this is a semantic issue. If you want to say that it's not a gunpla, um, you can say that, but you're probably wrong. It's not actually a Gundam toy, but it is um, fully compatible with um, Gundam SD kits. Um, more on that in a moment. Anyway, this is Afro Gunso. Uh, Kerro Gunso, Sergeant Frog's um, alter ego. Um, if you have seen the show, you'll be familiar with Afro Gunso from the um, ending credits of the first part of the first season. Um, as well, uh, he shows up a couple times later on. The show has hundreds and hundreds of episodes, so uh, he doesn't show up for a little bit. Um, he does not have a ton of options bagged with him. Um, this arm right here is slightly mobile, um, and it has that cute little microphone in there. Uh, the stand in the back here, this stabilizes him while he's standing. That's also a mic stand, um, so you can stand him up that way as well. He has two additional legs that are bending they're very tight, so they will hold him very well. He has an additional bent arm. And he has an additional arm that has a joint. Real simple stuff there. And he also has two other eyes. And that is the sort of distressed, annoyed Kerrero. As opposed to the staring blankly Kerrero. Um... The slight gimmick is that he actually stores some of his other accessories. His other accessories are right here in his head. You pop his head open, and he has boxing gloves. Yeah. Um, so I don't you, think we've actually seen him box anyone. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> um, but you can take those out, and you can just pop them on his hands, um, and then he has boxing gloves. That's about the extent of that. Mm. Um, the only modification I've done so far is I painted the checker pattern here. The checker pattern is built into the stand, uh, and it's on all of the box art and everything. So it is expected to be there, but they don't have a sticker for it or anything. So I just said, fuck it, and painted that on there. Um, the stickers, really basic, really simple stuff. Now, as far as the booklet goes, we have... Kerro and swing. Um, now, I should probably note um, the afro, um, the hairstyle, is actually still pretty popular here. Uh, it is something that uh, goes pretty well with some Japanese folks' hair uh, because they do have the sort of the naturally curling sort of strong hair like that. So it is something that you actually see here. Way more often than I would have thought, too. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Definitely way more than we would have thought. Now, as I mentioned earlier, um, all of the Kerrogunso gunpla toys, <coughs> excuse me, they um, are compatible with SD Gundam kits. In this case, um, the Afrogunso advertises being compatible with the SD Xeon kit, um, but they actually have adapters built into them. You'll see down here on the base here, there's three adapters, one of which is already on him. Um, and those three adapters will fit his head onto different kits. Um, so you can do different combinations of those. Um, in my video for um, Sergeant Kululu, um, you will see that he has, uh, I put his head on the Sazabi, I believe. Um, so those work really well. And um, not just that, but Bandai really, really, really wants to take your money. Um, so if you'll notice here, here's actually a list of kits that uh, it'll definitely go with. Um, <laughs> it's not taking your money, it's liberating you of your money. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we love Bandai. Bandai does us good. Um, so there's um, a checklist of kits that you can buy and fit Kerro's head into, and here's instructions if you can't figure it out yourself. Um, all pretty simple stuff here. And um, that's it. There is our Afro Goon, so have a great day.